Welcome back to the Cool Fear Channel. I'm your host, Jesse the Bat Madrigal, aka the Buff Collector. The information on this channel is intended for all collectors and not children. And today we are going to be taking a look at the NECA toys, an American werewolf in London, werewolf. If you do enjoy this video, please remember to give it a like, share, comment, and subscribe. Jumping right on into this review, guys. Yes, this is the NECA toys. An American werewolf in London werewolf and no I have not seen the movie I have actually only seen one scene and that's the scene with the demon Nazi soldiers and that's because I bought the NECA demon Nazi soldier figures and I had to see what exactly they did in the movie so I went ahead and looked up that scene however I have also seen actually I lied because I have actually also seen uh, the transformation scene which has you know gone on to be obviously historic and everything in the way they did it and how crazy and amazing it looks back in the day um, but yeah other than that I have no attachment or knowledge of this film however if you guys are longtime followers of the channel you will know that I am a big Mezco Toys collector especially the Rumble Society and with them you can really fit and pick and choose your adventure. And one of my favorite Rumble Society members is Doc Nocturnal. And he goes up against all sorts of monsters, creatures, and things that go bump in the night. In fact, I did actually buy the Mezco Rumble Society Doc Knock oversized wax cards. And in one of them, it actually depicts him fighting a werewolf so the second i saw that i knew i needed this figure however it had been eluding me since its release i had never seen it in stores anywhere the only place i had seen it is in one of the shops at frankensons if you don't know what frankensons is it is essentially a toy convention that is open mondays wednesdays and the weekend over in city of industry in southern california and so there's this one lady that has everything NECA and stuff unfortunately every time I went she was closed and I was just left to stare at this werewolf through the gate uh, so yeah being able to find him was phenomenal and in fact his box was actually beat to shit so Target went ahead and gave me 10% off so I'm not complaining because as you can see guys there ain't no box here <laughs> we threw that shit away and the figure itself will be much more useful so with all of that being said guys why don't we go ahead and take a look at what this guy does come with because he does come with one accessory and that being an alternate head and man look at that the detail the anger the scariness the blood on the teeth man NECA always hits it out of the park with their sculpt and their detailing such a cool head sculpt for this guy that is essentially everything that does come with this guy so with that being said why don't we go ahead and pull him off the rotating turntable and take a closer look all right guys so here we have the wolf all up close and personal and as you can see like i said NECA always hits it out of the park with their detailing and their sculpt so Obviously not too much to look at here with it being a werewolf. It's not like we're looking at different layers of clothing or anything, but we can at least appreciate the attention to detail in the fur and in the sculpt and everything and even just in the eyes right there. Man, they look scary. But yeah, like I said, not too much to look at, but very well done in the sculpt. Um, it kind of looks like my dog blue to be honest, especially right here is a little shaggy. Um, so yeah, uh, Thankfully, he's not as vicious and mean, at least not towards me. But with that being said, let's actually go ahead and pop off this head and pop this one on. So that way you can see, as you can see, it is a ball uh, dumbbell joint. I don't know why I was going to say ball joint, but a dumbbell joint right there. There is this separate neck piece right here, which just covers up more of the neck with fur. And then you just go ahead and snap that on in. Whoa. You should be able to just snap that on in right there as you can see so yep it's all in so i guess with that being said guys we should probably go ahead and whoa that's that's pretty scary uh, so we should probably go ahead and move on into articulation man look at that that's a pose right there so pulling this guy forward right here his head will tilt all the way to the right all the way to the left um he can have a little bit of turn to the right and to the left which is actually really cool for a 
you know, a kind of a creature that's kind of like in this position and not really having a neck. Uh, so yeah, no real down or up. Okay, up is decent. Down is hindered by that open jaw. So let's go ahead and put the neutral face back on so that way we can see the full articulation. But yeah, can't really look down either here because of the hair. But he does look up kind of pretty decently. Taking a look at his arms, they will go out all the way now mind you guys this is a neck -a toy and i have not heated it up so yeah keep that in mind his shoulders will go 360 he does have a forward bend right there at that elbow with rotation um, it is double hinge you do have articulation at this point of the leg as well as at the toes right here and all of this like i said is on a rotation system except for up here uh, so yeah, taking a look at his legs, uh, they are on a ball hip joint right there. They will kick out that far. These ones have a back cut right here. Um, these are actually super tight, so I'm not going to push them. Uh, you do have articulation points right here and right here. All super tight. It seems like the front legs were pretty loose and fine, whereas the back ones are a bit uh, tough and stiff. So... It's kind of like a half and half neck of figure. The front isn't because it's pretty loose and you don't have to do too much to those joints in terms of heating them up or anything. And the back half is pretty damn stiff, so you're definitely going to have to heat that up. And before we continue on, guys, I do want to mention that I did recently start a Patreon for the Cool Figures channel. Any and all support is greatly appreciated. The link will be down in the description below. Thank you in advance. With that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at some really cool, creepy, and scary pics that I took of this werewolf. If you did enjoy this video, please remember to give it a like, share, comment, and subscribe. And as always, have a great fucking day.